this video is about how sometimes scummy resellers aren't really scummy resellers. Why do you say, why do you ask? Why? Are scummy resellers not really scummy resellers? Well, because there's a person, there's a young girl who would like to buy something from us, right? And she doesn't drive, right? And she doesn't even have PayPal for some reason. I don't even know what that's about. She looked like she was in it. high school, Anthony. But she wasn't. I think she was in college, so I don't really know Same what's going difference. on. Yeah, she's young. She doesn't drive. That's the main thing. So what are we doing? She wanted two games. Very hard to find games that she would never be able to find on her so own. So right? Anthony's making me drive a half an hour from my yeah, house. Yeah, we're doing a freaking delivery. To deliver... Uh, a Super Mario Sunshine and Mario Party 5. Now, these games are hard enough for me to find in the field, right? And then someone like her would probably n never find them in the field. Or um, maybe from a flea market vendor. But she can't even go to uh, flea markets or, or whatever because she can't drive. So she was like, I said, well, can you go to a flea market? She goes, and she's like, no. I said, can your mom drive you, right? And she's like, no. I said, well, what about your friend? She's like, I don't have any and friends. Of course she can only, <laughs> and of course she can only meet at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Because she goes to school. During old traffic, traffic. Traffic. Yeah, we're going slow. But see... Wait until we go home. That's going to be Yeah, it'll fun. be worse. But see, it's like... That's why people go, ooh, resellers, right? But because of wonderful resellers like us. <laughs> like Anthony. No? Yeah. That we make the stuff available. Like these two games. Here they are, right? They're backlit. <laughs> Um, and I'm only charging her 80 bucks for the two, which is a good price. <laughs> I don't know if everybody's going to be like, 80 bucks. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine's running at least like, I think, 50 to 60. You know? And this is Mario Party 5, I think it's running like 40 to 45 or something like that. So, you know, I gave her a discount. Uh, but what about the delivery fee? Zero. Zero. And my aggravation fee. Yeah, Marie's aggravation fee. That's a lot. If she, yeah, it is. If you could charge for your aggravation, that would be a lot of money, right? That would be like, okay, eighty dollars for the games and um, a hundred dollars for it. his if aggravation you aggravate fee me on a daily basis. How am I being aggravated? I'm making you money. It's not coming in my pocket. Which is freaking All right, serious? It's not coming in your pocket. You know what? I'll get the money. I'll just stick it in your pocket. There. Okay, there you go. <laughs> you can you can have it, and then we'll okay. use it to pay whatever bill we gotta pay, right? Because all money goes out. So anyway. Uh, you you uh, collectors, because uh, collectors always have problems with resellers. Go, resellers, right? All you collectors hating on us resellers. You should be grateful that we <laughs> exist, because you know we're the ones out there in the field. We go to um, yard sales, uh, we go to flea markets, and we pick up the stuff that other people might just throw away, you know, or other people would buy. Like other collectors, if I buy it, you know for whatever I buy it for and I sell it to you, that means some other like cheap ass collector and not even collector, so you know, whatever, didn't oh. get it and keep it for their collection and you'd never get it, you know? So wow. like I said <laughs> just be grateful. Ooh, I dropped it. Oh, good thing it's not made out of glass. Just be grateful that people like us exist. And and the main thing is the delivery. That's how I want to hold it. We're like <laughs> freaking delivering. We don't do that all the time. I though. never do it. But you know what? It, I felt bad for the kid. Because she was like, she said like this to me. She's like, she actually in, wrote to me. And she's like, you don't know how bad I want these games. Because right? she's young. Yeah. No, but that's not even it. It just means that she has no other way of getting them. Unless I did that. So, I don't know. You know how you ask me, what do you want, a medal? Yeah, you want a medal? <laughs> it's like, forget I kind of do. But, I'll, I'll, but I am going to get like 80 it. bucks, right? Forget no, I, well, I'm not. I'm not gonna make a big deal with the girl. I'll just go. Here you go. No big deal. You just, want an you know. award? For the I know, right? Scummy, baggy reseller. Well, it's just you know, everybody's like reseller, Ugh. but but we are scummy sometimes anyway. So whatever. Uh, I don't think that we'll be looking for a car. So I don't know where. Well, I don't know. How early? We're like 15 minutes early. You want to go inside? No. We're meeting her at Dunkin' Donuts. You just want to sit in the car? I'm gonna read my book. Okay, so what? You want me to go get you coffee? Yep, that's how it goes. <laughs> okay, all right. You made me come. Let me you put these in the bag. Coffee. I'm going to get a coffee. You got me as a chauffeur. My fee is You want to do shout coffee. outs? <laughs> a shout out to who? I don't know. We just always do shout outs. Shout outs. I'm only doing shout outs on this channel to my fellow scummy resellers. And that's AJ Nas Nostalgic, uh, AJ ASAP Zon, Video Gamer Daryl. And I include uh, Blue, 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 
What is your I'm licking, my, I'm licking my lip. No, they are real. I don't have it. I got like, I got a, um, what do you call it? Implant. People don't even know your business. Just <laughs> You're like, I got out. false teeth. Spit it out. I got to moisten my lips. Blue bus Dave. And I'll give a shout out to Marie. Because uh, <laughs> nah. cause she likes them so much. It's dumb. Right. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Oh, I'll, I'll be $80. I'll show the $80. Wow. After I get it. $80. Proof. Proof. Uh, I'm at the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, waiting for uh, the young lady that's gonna buy these games for me and I figure oh, I'll go to the bathroom right I'll get I'll get um, we got a coffee and I'll pollute the bathroom more. yeah well I wasn't gonna destroy it or anything but I was gonna use the bathroom and oh I got a donut <sighs> here oh. we're gonna share this it's chocolate manis and I specifically said I don't want them with the sprinkles because they had you had a choice of sprinkles but look Freaking sprinkles! They, they just <laughs> fell and got on the bottom of my donut. Look how messy it is. Uh, so anyway, I'm like, do you need a key to use the bathroom to the lady? Because I I went to try the door and it I just didn't open right. And she's like, no. I'm like, okay, good. So I'm like, fine. I'll go use the bathroom. And I go to use the bathroom and I open the door and guess what? What do you think I see? You already know because I told you. I was like bitching already. about it. Yeah. People who don't like the goddamn bathroom doors. <laughs> what the hell is that? You know? I, it's all the time. And it's always like... It happens to me at Columbus all the time. So most times, I just freaking... If the door... I, I don't trust Porter Sands at all. Like, I'll go to the... I'll, every time I go to a Porter Sands... You knock first. I not only knock. I go, I'm like... Right? And then I wait a second. Right? <laughs> and then I open the door... A, there's me opening the door a little bit, right? Because you don't know how many times I've opened the door and there's always some guy with his pants down, taking a leak with his pants down, going like, whoa, hey! You know, so that's what just happened now. But the guy wasn't, he was like sitting there and I didn't get the full view. But I go and I tried to open it before. I didn't hear anything before. And, and uh, that's why I thought the door was locked. I thought you needed a key. But I'm like, oh, you don't need a key. So I go open the door. Right? And I'm like messing with the lock. And if I'm in the bathroom and someone's like banging and messing with the lock, I'm like, I'll be right out. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'll be right out or something, you know, so they know. They don't try and like bang in the door, get the manager to open it up or whatever. Like, I'm not dead in here going to the bathroom. But no, so I did. I opened the door. And of course, it's some guy sitting on the toilet. Like, I didn't get full view. <laughs> we didn't like lock eyes, basically. <laughs> It wasn't like, oh, hello. How is your eyes to my eyes going back? That must no, be a that's guy not. thing because I've never had that in the ladies' room. You know, if you're at your home, I can understand like leaving the bathroom door open and people coming in and talking to you because that's what happens at our house all the time, right? Yes, yeah, sadly. <laughs> We're like, you're trying to go to the bathroom and somebody will come in and go like, Hey, when's dinner going to be ready here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, you or noticed like, <laughs> what he said, so you know who's that Well, that's guy. when I do it to you. Yeah. When you do it to me, yeah, it, but you it'll be like, me you're going to be long. <laughs> you're going to make sure you, you flush, whatever, right? Daisy only gets me. We all do it to each other. And you the cats do to you do it. You never go in the bathroom when Daisy's in there. No, I don't. No. And she never goes in the bathroom when you're in there. Because that would be weird. Sadly, the time she's gotten the view of your but she rear goes, end that really distracts That's because she don't knock. Really upset. I don't, I don't lock the bathroom door. I don't have a lock on it because the, the door in our house is old, so you have to have a skeleton <laughs> to get you to lock it. So, But if you close the door, that means... Now, if you close the door most of the way and the light's off, that means nobody's in the bathroom. But if the light's on and the door is closed either most of the way or all the way, somebody's probably in the bathroom and you're not even in our house, right? But she comes in the bathroom all the time with you. Right? With me? You both do. Yeah. At, not at the same time, though. Right? Yeah. Because that would be up weird. In there, when I start yelling and then the other one comes up, what's going on? But I'm we like, don't come into the bathroom while you go at the same time. It's one or the other. Of us. So anyway, yeah, uh, people should like, especially in a public restroom. What, what the hell is that? You don't want people like just randomly walking into. Maybe like, he does. What if there was a urinal? Maybe he wants. What if there was Because you ever go into like a lot of bathrooms have no, I never go into a the toilet with a and urinal. a urinal? Sorry. No, but in men's room. There's well, a, I wouldn't know. Well, if they have a shared bathroom, you've been in shared bathrooms, a lot of times they'll have a toilet and a urinal. So what if you don't lock the door and somebody comes in and they got to pee really bad and you're sitting on the toilet trying to take a crap and they're like, 
sorry, I gotta pee. <laughs> you know, and they just start peeing. I mean, that's why you lock the door. Has that ever happened to you? No. You know, it could happen though. But it didn't. I bet one day, if I don't lock dream. the door, I bet, no, not my dream. Well, maybe like, some oh, guy no. wants somebody to come. That's probably something AJ his, would do. Would do. AJ fantasy. wouldn't lock the door. Maybe that's his fantasy to have somebody walk in the bathroom on him. That's, like, that's not even a good fantasy. Oh, for him, it might be a fabulous oh fantasy. Oh my God. <laughs> my dreams have come true. That's a terrible fantasy. Especially when he sees you walking in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, if I go into the bathroom and somebody's in there, uh, even when they're taking a leak, if it's and if there's no stall or whatever, I'm like I leave. You know, if there's no privacy booth or whatever, I just turn around and leave. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, Stephanie's not. Oh, I, I guess it doesn't matter. I said the kid's name. She's not here yet, so we're just hanging out, trying to kill some time and BS. And Annie and Anthony's complaining about using the bathroom. Yeah, uh, public restrooms and especially port sand. They're the worst. <laughs> I'll end it on that note. I just, oh. Wow. Go ahead. I didn't turn it off. I was just. I just remember going to the the flea market and and the porto sands with the projectile poop that's why i didn't like about him like, you know why that is who is right? standing there but you know why it, it is just projectile it just like but you know exactly why that happened from Not their a, rear end I, and ends up on the wall i i mean we're going into a different territory now but i can explain not everybody makes a solid poop all the time right but, no but it shouldn't be up on the wall but at like shoulder level the like, reason what the, hell? the reason that people spray their poops all over the place when they go into public restrooms is because they don't want to put their butts on the toilet mm -hmm. that's it yeah, so they're I, lifting no, no, and they're peeing no, and pooping no. all around it <laughs> that's exactly what's happening that's that's just weird. <laughs> it is and I, I can give you some advice, so if you have to use a public restroom, uh, you know those little um, a sani hand things. What do they call yeah, it? The you sani gel. Put a little bit on a toilet, toilet paper, paper, and you and you wipe the toilet with but like a especially lot of the sands. Sands don't have those. Well, usually it's run out, you know, by the time you use it. But I mean, you can put toilet paper on it. Or you could do both, but you whatever. Carry your own sanitizer. Yeah, or you could just like hold your butt up above the seat and just crap all over or the place. <laughs> well, I mean, if you can like hold it like a camel or something, you know. What? Camels don't hold their poop, but you could hold your water. Now we're yeah. getting gross. I mean, it's already What? Gotten I was uh, yeah, it was already gross. I just elevated it by talking about camels. What? Why are camel camels gross? It elevated? It's well, I elevated it from spraying diarrhea all over it to portisan, which you said. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough random weird uh, nonsense about poop. Uh, bye. So. What, more bathroom talk? <laughs> yeah. Okay. The bathroom door mystery is solved. It doesn't lock. <laughs> it doesn't lock. So I was like, oh, God damn it. I had to take a quick leak. <laughs> I was like, are people going to walk in on me? You know? But yeah, now I know why the guy, I guess that guy had to go really bad. Yeah, I wouldn't have went up the door. Yeah, if, you, if you're risking it, right? Because you can't relax and go to the bathroom. You're constantly on edge. <laughs> so you're walk in on you're like a scratching noise outside the door, a and click when, of the hand. I'm like, no! Edge, it's like, it takes you twice as long to accomplish things. You, I mean, unless you really had to go. Like, you know, if you really have to go, it's like, I'll be quick. Like, you just scan the whole place. Uh, it's different for ladies. You, you Guys, it's easy. Well, you could walk around to everybody Unless inside the place. Unless you're one of those place. guys, like you say, that drops his pants to pee. I well, mean, I mean, but if you really have to go, you really have to go. You know what I mean? But if I were in there, okay, if I were in there, what I would do is I would just walk around the whole place and go, and go look, the bathroom door's locked. I'm going to take a shit. You know? No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I would go to everyone. Eating if you food, have to really go. No, you would not do that. So I would go. Say that. I would no, actually no, ask somebody, no, no. could you watch the door People for me? People in there eating donuts <laughs> could you be my and guard? drinking coffee. No. Nah. They don't need you to just go and make an I'd be like, hey, everybody. Go to the bathroom. I, and You're I would be not, safe unless no. somebody came in from outside. You're not going to do that. I would be like, everybody, <laughs> I got to take a shit. No, you're such a liar. <laughs> you would never do that. So, I just don't come in <laughs> unless you want to. No. No, but I'll tell you what I would do, though. What do you think I would do? You wouldn't go to the bathroom? No, I would come outside and go, Marie, I got to take a shit. Watch the door. <laughs> yeah, that you might do. Make me yeah. stand guard. I'd be like, stand guard, you know. Don't let anybody in. And you know what I would do? Uh, let everybody in, probably. <laughs> yep. I'd be like, hey, guys, I guess my wife didn't tell you I was going to take a big crap in here. Oh, you're talking about that lady outside? She gave us a dollar to go in. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. She said um, it might be his fantasy. <laughs> it's somebody's fantasy, she says. Oh, hey, I was waiting for you to come in while I was going to the bathroom. 
it's my <laughs> fantasy. Like Fantasy Island. Remember yeah, Mr. Rourke? Mr. Rourke. <laughs> Plus, what does this guy want us to do? <laughs> he wants us to walk just, in. He wanted us to walk in. He, it's simple. He just he was going to the bathroom. He says, just have people walk in. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> I don't think anybody even gets that reference anymore. Fantasy no, Island. No, we're old. I know, right? What's Fantasy Island? You know that was a terrible show, too. Oh, now when you look at it, it's like, ugh, I used to watch this crap. I know. <laughs> It was like, oh god, that and the love boat. The love boat. <laughs> it's love. There was nothing else on. That's why new. there wasn't a selection like nah, there is there now. No, there wasn't. There wasn't. There wasn't Netflix. There wasn't um, Amazon Prime. There wasn't Hulu. There was like variety shows. There was channels. There was channels <laughs> one, two, eleven, and then thirteen was like intellectual crap. It was PBS? Yeah, intellectual stuff. Sesame and f Street. and and if it wasn't intellectual stuff and Sesame Street, it was fundraising. Right? Well, yeah. Well, because they <laughs> All the time. They didn't have commercials. They I don't know. Do you money. think they even do that anymore? I'm sure know. they do because they still don't have commercials. See, we elevated the conversation. Yeah. From poop <laughs> to PBS. Uh, PBS. For poop <laughs> no, and BS. <laughs> poop and BS. All right. All right. We're still waiting for this person. Uh, they're running not early. A little bit late. Uh, Gee. I know, right? Gets to sit here. Well, the thing is, now I'm going to be like, uh, it, are we good if people? If she doesn't are, show up, we're never doing it again, I'm everybody. No. Anybody, never, ever, ever again. No, you'll do it again. No, I won't. Summer. This is the first time I ever did it. You know, no, I. No, we brought stuff to other people. We brought stuff to Nick. No, well, Nick doesn't count. Nick of well, Impersonation Nick Films. <laughs> Subscribe to his channel. He's he's another scummy reseller now. Uh, Nick, he does stand up. I'm probably gonna go see his show some whatever. Thursday. Is it next this Thursday? Week, next week, next Thursday. And he's going to charge me full price, $53. <laughs> i know this you guy since he was a little that? kid. Yeah, he says, he says, you get food. <laughs> I can imagine what kind of food. Probably Nick is going to make like a, a pasta or something. You know, it'll be like a buffet. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, yeah, he'll make like my famous, with the, with the with what gravy. is it? With gravy, not sauce. not sauce. I go, Nick, you got any tomato sauce? No, I got gravy. <laughs> tomato gravy. Which doesn't make any sense. That's actually a big thing if you're uh, Italian and you care about stupid crap. <laughs> you go like, you get in a big f argument with people about, it's not sauce, it's gravy, you know? But I think it depends on the sauce. Uh, I don't think it depends think on anything. It, I think if it's just tomatoes, it's like a gravy. Yeah, when Nick goes it's like... like a tomato gravy. When somebody says that to me, I'm like, who cares? But if it's got like meat and stuff in it, then it's a sauce. I think gravy is what you said. It goes on like like turkeys. Is, oh, I see what you're saying. It's just... If it's like yeah, meat if sauce. It's, if it's gravy, it's just like a marinara. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Like a tomato. I think. I'm not sure. No, but wait and a minute. No, that's, no, everybody says tomato sauce. Nobody says tomato gravy. Well, some people do. They say gravy goes on like on your meat, not on your pasta. What? I, well, some people do. I know. It's like a big debate. If you're Italian, you know about this or whatever. You're part Italian. I know. And part you of me, even that little part of me that's Italian as 50% doesn't give a crap. Yeah, but your mother used to use ketchup as tomato sauce. Oh, uh, yeah. What we, kind of Italian were we you? Used, we weren't wealthy growing up. She we had welfare cheese. <laughs> We lived welfare in the projects. Cheese. I remember welfare cheese. Yeah. We used to go, like, get the big cans of peanut butter. Remember those? No, my mom didn't get that. I, we did. We got she, these big... She just and the powdered cheese. milk. Ugh, I hated <laughs> the hell is it? milk. It, it didn't even taste she like powdered to milk. She used lie to me and tell me it was real milk. And I was like, why and would nobody would fall for it. Picture? Yeah. Ugh, yeah, it nobody... You, where, where's the carton? And then they would try <laughs> and do 50-50, right? All kinds of tricks to get us to eat powdered milk. It's like, you know why I don't like milk? Why I don't drink milk anymore? Because it's disgusting. No, because they were always trying to give me powdered milk. You know, I'm like... <sighs> and then you, you made it worse. What? I mean, I barely drink milk, right? Why? But now you drink like 0%. No, we drink that 1%. Tastes like... We compromise. No. Daisy, no. Daisy... You know why was, you drink I'm 1%? Not, I'm not <laughs> buying like 15 different kinds of milk in the house. Daisy likes skim, and you like full. No, so I don't even I, drink milk. You could get skim so if you want. what are you want. complaining about? Here's what. You know why you drink 1%? So you're not compromising. Because I told you, and everybody should know this, um, they use this kind of fake powder in, zero, in skim milk to make it look white. Because otherwise it would look watery and tint. And the stuff is actually it bad for you. It has a blue tint. It ha yeah. Uh, um, like skim milk has a, a weird blue tint but it do also doesn't have a milky consistency so they use this kind of like 
powdery stuff, and actually like that additive. stuff. Yeah, and it's not really even good to for make you. It more milky. Like. Yeah, so you should just yeah to make it look more milky. Like so, it's like it doesn't even look. It's just if they left it the way it was, and everybody hated it except for the people who would drink it. Fine, but you know, they make you think it's good for you, and Whatever. then they add crap I get to it. One percent milk. Right. And you're such so a liar. So it's not a compromise. Because I see the dirty cereal bowl in the sink when I get up in the morning that you don't even put water in. And the cereal's like hard on the edges of the bowl. I would literally put water in the cereal. It's almost the You're same. You're such a liar. Remember, I was, going, I, was putting almond, I was putting almond Did milk in it. Did you actually put water in the cereal? I was, no. I, see, I, I don't barely believe even, you. I barely even eat cereal, right? So the then few who's, times... So who's the, the, the mysterious person that comes in our house and leaves Once a month, bowl? I'll have a once bowl a of cereal. Month? Yeah. How, how long have we had that box of cereal there? When's the last time you bought cereal at the supermarket? I don't know. Exactly. I don't keep track. You don't have to keep track. If you can't remember, it would have been no, like the last, last time week. I bought cereal, it was like three, four, like no, let's, five dollars or something. So I had three boxes. The last time you there. bought cereal, what season was it? We'll try that. I don't know. It was what? winter. <laughs> that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> so how much cereal do I obviously eat if I bought cereal? It doesn't matter. Even if you only eat one bowl, don't lie I had one you bowl. don't drink any of the milk. I don't drink the milk. Drink I put the it in there to moisten the cereal. Oh, so you don't drink the milk, but now, you eat it. Here's, where, here's an extension of what I was saying, right? Um, Who cares? Almond milk. Remember I said get almond milk? And then mm -hmm. I, I said I'll put it on my cereal because yeah. I don't even like the freaking skim milk, right? Yeah. Or the one percent, yeah. and then what happened was I never eat cereal. You never ate the almond milk and it went <laughs> I, bad. And I don't drink milk, milk like freaking forever to go back. Because I don't drink milk, I just use it on cereal occasionally. So I was like, "What's the difference? I'll just use freaking horrible tasting skim milk on and my cereal." You'll get used to it. Just eat it and yeah. shut up. I don't even, I don't even put milk in in tea you anymore. You only put a little bit of milk <laughs> in the cereal anyway. Just eat cereal. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're, how much? How late is this kid? I don't know. It's very late. Cause now yeah. I'm getting upset. Let me see. Let me look at your time. Five twenty-five. She said after five, so that could basically be any time. That could be seven. I know. That could be. 10. No, I told her I was going to be that five. So all right, all right. Let me turn this off, and I'll just get out the car and look around, like I'm waiting for somebody. Ugh. I'll just look over the car. I'll look to the left. I'll look this way. I'll just look around, like like I'm here for a reason. Okay, so this is why I don't do deliveries, because it's always a production, right? Um, I said, okay, I'll meet you there at 5. What time is it? 5.48. And I said, I, I finally was like, I was like, look, I got to go. I'm not hanging out. Either you want it or I go home. So, they, again, it's a kid. So she's like, I got to tell my mom. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> so I was talking to her mom, and I'm, we're going out of our way again, right? This is why... I think I'm a nice guy. I'm not saying whether they want it or they don't well, want it. Well, that's like... They want to pay you with a check. Yeah, you know, check. I'm like, what? And I, and I thought the kid just told you she had a $100 bill. Yeah, they got a $100 bill. bill. Like, ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's much easier... That's like and Craigslist all the time. It's much like easier just... That I can't just... You know what I tell everybody all the time? Hey, oh, these are easy to sell. I tell people all the time, just meet me at the flea market. This way, I'm going to be there... And you can look at other stuff and shop around and make a day of it, you know. But again, I was being real nice. Sucker. <laughs> and Marie says I'm a sucker. But, okay, I think it's really going to happen. Let's you know? see. Yeah, we'll see. they call the cops on you and they can be cops. I know, right? They'll be like, whoop, whoop, here come the police, you know. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy, what you going to do? It's a setup. That's what it is. It's a sting. <laughs> they, Guess what? If the cops show up, I'm leaving your ass. I know. I'll get out the car and Marie will just vroom, drive oh, off. Oh, you know, I'll be like, Marie, bail me out. I actually had to go to the See police station, and AJ Cooper. knows why. Because of, of these dirty dealings. Because your boy stolen with people. property. Yeah. I didn't know it was stolen. It I didn't told say you the stolen. guy was fishy, and you didn't you know what? listen to me. Everybody's fishy. Yeah. Uh, You're me, fishy. Everybody's fishy. You're I'm fishy. I'm not fishy. <laughs> Everybody is. I'm coughing. No, not everybody's fishy. All right. Here. The guy was fishy. Every week Let's he had new there. merchandise. Yeah. No, I, I would see him like once a month. And he was like, I'm no, a clean out guy. No, it was like once every two weeks. Whenever he needed cash. I actually, AJ had to go to the police station with me. He almost pooped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I got to get a lawyer. <laughs> I'm like, you AJ, you didn't do anything. Money. You didn't steal it. I said, 
the guy that stole the stuff didn't even go to jail. <laughs> Why are they they're gonna put you in jail? They're like, I don't like this kid. <laughs> Stick him in jail. <laughs> Scared straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen. If I if it happens and I get the money, I'm gonna I'll go look. It happened. Like, uh, but I'll never do it again. Never. <laughs> never ever. Well, you won't be able to find it, so you won't have your show first. No, I just won't do it. You know, I just be like, nope. Every time I do it, it's like it's it's a hassle. And then I got to talk to somebody's mom. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the mom's like, what's going on? I don't, she told me. And I don't feel like driving. And that's what she Is said. Is that what she said? She's like, I don't feel like driving now. So I'm I, like, oh my God. So she didn't even tell her mother? No, no. And you've been talking to this girl for like a week. Because that street fair was not this past Sunday, the Sunday before. Yeah. That girl's been texting you like all week, wanting these games, Emailing. wanting these games. Yeah. And that she was going to tell her mother. Yeah. So now I'm sitting waiting to, for her and she didn't even tell her mother. I know. The only good thing you got was Sucker. coffee because you like coffee. So I could have made coffee at home. Yeah. Well, no, not Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I don't care. <laughs> you say that now, but Marie loves Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I just like coffee. Dunkin' Donuts especially. Oh, shut up. And what, But she doesn't like Starbucks. That's no, it's like, tastes like dirty water. You know, the only reason everybody goes to Starbucks is because they have good internet. No, some people like the stronger coffee. Daisy likes uh, their, yeah, Daisy their, likes their freaking dirty water coffee. All right, we're, we're almost there, right? It's like uh, a, few a block blocks, away. Yeah. All right, let me turn this off. And if I get the money, it's a done deal. And I'll show it. So what happened? <laughs> she was, I think... Done deal. Yeah, whatever. Marie's like, make sure the money's real. <laughs> like it's Monopoly you money. You didn't even look at it. You I counted it. But you didn't look at it. And look, I see a 50, a 20, and 10. What else am I supposed to do? To see Take if a it's pen? counterfeit. Take a pen. She no, said, this I kid's not a counterfeiter. I, I taught This kid doesn't even look shady. She's like, you were worried that this... I don't even know you what's going on. You don't know if her parents aren't shady. You don't know. <laughs> Their you don't parents. know. <laughs> no, she was like, sorry, sorry. I'm like, Whatever. it's okay. Well, I was being nice to her. She's just well, a kid. Well, I guess I'm not nice. Well, you didn't even talk to her. You were just no, sitting in the what car. What did you say to her? You annoy me, child. Why yeah, did you it'd be like all this way. No, you, didn't even talk to you know what? Mother? Take your rage out on me. I can do. Ugh, <laughs> I'll just. Off. I know. I'm like Teflon. I'm like the real Teflon Don, and I'm not talking about uh, Teflon Dong. Dong. <laughs> That's the Asian version. Teflon Dong. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, look, it happened. It, it, I don't believe the money is counterfeit. I'm doing, Did you check it? Marie's checking it for me. Yeah, it's good. She says it's good. So I'm $80 richer and how much more annoyed? Teach people an easy Wait, way to check deduct money. Wait, deduct the annoyance factor from it. Oh, you, okay. You see the, like, of course you know about the ghost image and all that yeah. stuff, the strip that goes through it. But if you run your finger New across bills. his jacket... You can feel the texture you, you of hear the that? stripes. You hear that scratchy noise? Yeah, that's that's another way to tell if money's legit. Because fake money won't have that yeah. texture. Because, I mean, you can hold it up and you can look for the ghost. Because the pen... Of Andrew Jackson or whatever that is. Doesn't work because... Who is this guy? The pen doesn't work all the time because sometimes they take old $5 bills and Who, they bleach them and they print them. Yeah, they reprint it. Who's on a 50 Is it Benjamin Jackson? What? <laughs> I don't know. Who is this guy? It should say right under his... I'm right not wearing my glasses. Oh my god. I, well, I'm driving. Oh, it's Grant. It's something Ulysses Grant. I don't know which Grant wow, is it. Wow. Yeah, I'm bad at history. I know this is uh, Led Zeppelin. Uh, <laughs> this is Motley Crue. <laughs> and this must be, uh, um, what's his name? Mr. T. Mr. T. <laughs> it's Mr. T money. You know, one day Donald Trump might be on, on money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? He actually is on money already, if you count Trump the Monopoly game, Monopoly money, whatever. or whatever. All right, so anyway, what was he, how much do I have to give you for, like... All of an, it. <laughs> she only grabbed the 50. the 50. I got, like, 30 left. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, I would like to reiterate that uh, I think I I'm like a nice guy, and I'm not a scummy resort. Never do that again. Yeah. But, yeah, um, I'm sorry, but you ruined it for me. I don't, I probably will never make these deliveries again. Uh, even <laughs> I don't think so, right? No, I meet won't. me at the flea market. That's why I, this is why this is why I say meet me at the flea market. That's you know what I think. Maybe I'll title this video. This is why I say meet me meet at, me the, at flea the flea market, <laughs> and then I'll say uh, I'm 
Like, I'm not that scummy. Drive, take an Uber. No, I'm not even going to say, meet me at, this is why I say meet me at the flea market. I think that's what I'll title this video. Well, because then they get all freaked out that you're some perv or something. Money, 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 house. money. They don't want to let you money. in their house. Like, who are you? I know. And like, I'm the axe house. murderer. I'm the killer. I'm going, I'll come to your house. And the mother's like, uh. They'll make a movie about me. They'll call they me like. give you the address. The video game you. killer. You know? I'll be like, uh, yeah. It's like, meet me here. Meet me at Dunkin' Donuts. Meet me at the mall. Meet me at Walmart. Meet me whatever. It's like, you know what? Meet me at the flea market. That's, right. That's it. That's the title. That's, That's the point of this video. <laughs> and also like that. You finally got a point in it. No, I always, I try. I always try. But whatever. Okay, everybody saw it. Everybody knows what happened. It worked out. Blah, blah, blah. Goodbye.